In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a little mini scheme that you can utilize out of the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. You probably see a lot of pro players running this, and I want to kind of break down why it is so effective and what you can take away and learn from it for your own offense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel focuses, focuses in on Madden 21 tips and tricks. So these videos are designed basically with you in mind, trying to help you improve, give you some kind of concept that maybe you haven't thought about before, giving you some kind of little uh, trick that advanced players are using. Maybe sometimes it's uh, we're breaking down pro players' film studies. We've done a lot of that. So if you're watching the MCS challenges and, and uh, tournaments, um, we break down a lot of that here at the channel as well, just trying to learn, trying to get better because um, the, the more you learn about this game, obviously the better you're going to become. And so we just try to break down as much as we possibly can. So in today's video, we're breaking down, um, like I said, a little simple two formation mini scheme. There's obviously a lot more you could do with this, and uh, we'll cover uh, kind of a, in broad strokes this, and uh, and then we'll break this down. Now again, if you are interested in the channel and you want to get more more content, we post four videos a day. Uh, our upload schedule is two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, and eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we also stream, live stream Madden 21 gameplay every single night uh, at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time where we answer your questions live on stream. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. All right, so Gun Trips Tight End um, is a really, really good formation as a base formation. In fact, out of the Oakland uh, or the Las Vegas playbook, you actually have a lot of the favorites of Trips Tight End. You have uh, doubles in sale. You have inside zone. You have verticals. You have PA shot post. You have... PA slot corner, you have halfback counter. You also have X spot, which X spot is a very, um, a very, very good play uh, in this game. So you have curl flat, you have all kinds of really, really good passing concepts from the trips tight end. You also have um, pretty solid little passing concepts here from the bunch tight end. So if you wanted to come out in a um, three wide receiver set, you could then audible to bunch tight end, you could audible to gun bunch. Now their gun bunch is okay. Um, it's not the greatest gun bunch, but you do have some of the favorites. You have Z spot and go. You have spacing switch. You have verticals. You have bunch trail, which is a really good little play. The only thing you don't have, and this is why I would highly recommend having a slot apprentice, because if you have a slot apprentice, you can pretty much run a lot of the favorite plays that people utilize from the gun bunch. The one play you might be missing is PA dig fork. So you have some really, really good passing concepts. In fact, you even have this tight doubles that is really good. But what makes the Raiders playbook special is the running plays that you're able to create and the running concepts that you can utilize. So what we're going to show you today is a way that you can basically um, you can basically audible down into some of these formations with the new audibling system. So uh, I form close. The audibles I like to set are wide receiver out. I like to have the HB ISO in there. I like to have the PA tight end leak in there. And then I personally like the halfback power out. I don't run a whole lot of toss. Some people would recommend the toss, but the iPhone close actually has a lot of really good passing plays out of it as well, like Y post, out and up, uh, wide receiver out, of course, PA spider mesh, PA deep cross. All of these are really good passing plays. So that was that's another thing that makes the Raiders playbook, in my opinion, one of the most effective running and pro personnel sets um, and playbooks in the entire game. Uh, PA Flood as well uh, is a really good play here. And then I actually like the 95 mic. So basically you're going to go through and just set your audibles, right? Set the, I you know, we kind of some last season they called it the Oakland Tour, um, you know, the, all the different things. I actually really like this jet sl sweep this year from I-Form slot cl uh, slots uh, close. But anyways, you're just going to go through and set. Um, strong close, this is actually one of the best passing formations under center in Madden. And so uh, I actually use this primarily as a passing formation. I don't really run a whole lot out of this, but you can run the quick toss. If I was going to be running this, I would run the quick toss in combination with the halfback dive. Uh, and then I would basically use the rest of the audible slots for um, passing plays like this play from wide trail, PA scissors. You could obviously use PA deep cross, double post. These are all very viable options. Same thing for weak close flex. You see here, uh, I would just recommend having the HP dive, and then I would use the rest of the plays um, for passing. Okay, So you just go through, and you're going to set your audibles like that right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come out here in the gun trips tight end, and all you're going to do is you're going to have, obviously, if you have a tight end apprentice, this is going to make this even better, but you have a tight end apprentice right here. Maybe you have a slot apprentice right in this little slot right here in the, in the inside slot receiver. 
And then at the outside slot receiver, what you're going to do is you're going to put Raheem Mostert right in that little pocket right there. You could put Tevin Coleman in there if you wanted to. You could pretty much put whoever, just as long as it's a running back. Okay, And then we're going to actually have Raheem Mostert as our um, number one running back in this scheme. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come out in your trips tight end offense, right? So this is going to force the defense to have to come out in some kind of nickel set, maybe nickel three through five, nickel big nickel over G, you know, different sets like that. And if you get a look that you like, you really force them with different matchup issues because you can do everything that you want to do from trips tight end with this scheme. You'll notice I can run X spot and I can run this um, this little flood concept right here uh, to the outside. Very, very simple, but very, very effective because if they give you a look like this, maybe they're in 4-6 or something like that, and obviously I you know, missed the read right there. I should have thrown to the post route. But if they give you looks like that, then you can take advantage of that. The scheme is also really, really good in mutt because you can put Barry, you can put Raheem Mostert in the slot, and then you can put uh, Reggie Bush at your tailback position and have really, really good uh, running plays. You'll see here this halfback power O, in my opinion, is one of the best running plays in Madden 21 this year because it's one of the most difficult running plays to shoot the gap from, and you can easily do this out of this. Now, what's really cool about the Raiders uh, book is they also have some really, really good uh, two tight end sets that you can use. And so what you can also do is you could sub a tight end in. Maybe you maybe you sub a tight end at the far left outside receiver in the trips tight end. So your best receiver is still your slot. But now when you audible down, you're going to be able to audible down to the um, you're going to be able to audible down to like the I form tight, the strong wing pair, different things like that, and really start to put some stress on your on your opponent because they can't just come out in dollar. They can't come out in dime. They can't if they come out in dime one four six. Like, like I think right here, let me just show you. This is a dollar set. So if you see this, every single time you see this, please audible down to halfback power O. I actually think power O is best ran to the weak side. Um, I just think you get really, really good blocking when you run it to the weak side like that. And as you can see, you're going to get an automatic 5, 10, 15 yards within this rule running set. You see something like this, audible down. In my opinion, halfback ISO is one of the hardest runs to uh, shoot, especially if you flip it to the weak side. Flipping runs to the weak side are like a secret tactic, in my opinion, that most people don't really take advantage of because what it does is it throws the shooting off. Most people, when they lab their uh, run gap shoots, what they're mainly labbing is they're labbing you just running the play as is. They don't lab whether or not you can flip it. And if you flip it, if you can learn how to flip your run, just playmaker it very simply just by using the right stick, you'll find that you can actually really throw some run defenses off because most people are going to prepare to stop power over to the right. What they're not going to prepare is they're not going to prepare to stop it to the left side, and that's what I'm talking about. You see you'll get a shoot like this, and you can get out, and you can roll with their heat moster. So power O in combination with halfback ISO, and then you can kind of throw a little bit of chess with them. You could go to this play right here, wide receiver out, and very simple play, very simple play design. Honestly, we're going to just essentially – use these double crossing routes right here from Kittle and from Debo Samuel to kind of pin and pull the defense and really just kind of force the defense to just play disciplined pass coverage. As you can see, we can beat man coverage very easily with either one of those two crossing routes. You have the streak to pull a lot of those zones vertically also, which are going to allow you to really do a good job of moving the ball up and down the field on your opponent at will. So just a lot of things that you can try out from this. The, um, the Las Vegas playbook is alive and well. I think it's probably going to be when it's all said and done, it's going to be the most utilized playbook in the Madden Challenge or in the uh, club championships just because of the flexibility that it allows you to have because you can go from trips tight end and then you can go down into something like a strong close and really start to throw your opponent off guard. And really, if your opponent doesn't have good run defense from his nickel sets, which some nickel sets have better run defense than other nickel sets, and some, some in my personal opinion, like when you are start audibling down to like something like this right here, strong twins over, some of these just kind of more random uh, formations. And I'm telling you, messing around with flipping your play um, and playmaking your runs, it's going to throw a lot of people off. A lot of run defenses are not going to be prepared for it. So you have that, and you can also still run very simple concepts as well under center. I mean, there's no reason you can't. You can turn these into basic flood concepts as well, um, play action, all that stuff. You can do all kinds of things with this. The possibilities are endless. What I want you to know and understand is what this, what this allows you to do on the offensive side of the ball is it really allows you to kind of just be balanced, uh, be a little bit more balanced on offense, 
you're able to hit different routes. Um, you still have everything you could everything you could want from trips tight end, right? You still have PA slot corner. You still have um, X spot. You still have all of these other things that are really really powerful little route combinations here. But you also now have the ability to audible down into some sets that are really going to put a lot of strain on your opponent and a lot of strain on their run defense for that matter. So anyways, that's just a little bit of a mini scheme, a little bit more of a conceptual thing. But this is why you see so many people running this Las Vegas playbook. And there's also ways to kind of scheme it as well. If you want to be more run heavy, you could maybe come out in a single back wing flex close. Um, if you want to be more pass heavy, obviously you can come out in something like this strip tight end right here. Or you could even come out in bunch tight end and audible down as well. There's just so many possibilities this year with the new audibling uh, features. And different situations might require different audibles as well. So maybe you're you know, third and one, you come out with a, uh, a personnel grouping of you know, with a with an additional tight end. Or but maybe if you're in second and five, you come out in something that has three wide receivers and a tight end. You know, all sorts of different things you can do with this, but I just wanted to kind of share this concept with you, show you a little bit about what it uh, is useful for. Now if you want to see a full Las Vegas Raiders playbook breakdown, we're actually going to be doing that in our text message membership this coming Monday. We're going to release um, kind of a full scheme out of the Las Vegas playbook and really get, dive in deep to some of these personnel audiblings and also how you can basically um, beat a lot of people's popular run defenses with this very, very simple, easy to execute, but also very versatile playbook that you have in the Las Vegas Raiders. So I want to thank you for um catching the video today and if you want to get that video literally all you have to do is just text me my number is 812-216-3644 and we'll shoot you that video when it launches on monday morning also guys if you have not already picked up my defensive ebook i have a full defensive ebook that has one man two man three man four man nano blitzes as well as several really really phenomenal coverages that you can run and it does have very good run defense we actually have run defense out of every single formation in madden 21 that you can use as well as in my opinion some of the best pass defenses um, in the game right now as well as phenomenal personnel groupings and the ability to really disguise your defense they're not going to know whether you're sending pressure whether you're going to be being coverage whether you're going to be um, maybe play, playing kind of a bend but don't break passive pressure they're not going to know what you're doing on the defensive side of the ball so if you want to get that full ebook that ebook is in the description below it also comes with my arizona cardinals full air raid passing offense which is very very um effective in this year's game high points high yardage you're going to throw for 300 400 500 yards with this ebook very very good if you want to be a pass heavy player but they've been bundled together for you in the description below that you can pick up if you're interested um so far we've had some really really great reviews on that people have really taken their madden game to the next level with that ebook so i'd highly encourage you if you haven't already picked it up to go ahead and pick it up in the description other than that guys our next video will be going live today at six o'clock p.m eastern time right here on our youtube channel and i'd like to invite you to our live stream tonight to come by hang out talk some madden with us we stream every single night and on our youtube channel at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time so i want to invite you to that thank you so much for your time today i hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful and we'll see you on tonight's live stream